97.1 FM, The Morning Drive. I'm Pete McMurray. He's one of the greatest drummers working today. He was born to be a drummer because his father was in Led Zeppelin, one of the greatest rock bands ever. He's playing the Arcata Theater May 28th, Jason Bonham's Led Zeppelin Experience. You can get tickets at oshows.com. It is Jason Bonham. Jason, thanks for waking up. How you doing, man? I'm doing very, very good, actually. Um, looking forward to it. Um, as I said, we only do um, uh, a few shows a year doing this project um, as my little uh, uh, tip off the hat to, uh, to the master himself. And uh, it's, it's been great. What is your favorite Zeppelin tune to play in concert? Uh, in concert, well... Just lately, one of my favorites uh, has been Hearts for Nowhere from Presence, which is sure. a, a kind of a, a, a little bit more of a left field uh, right. track, but the drumming is amazing on that track. Wow. Do you know the original drummer that did that? Um, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Were you born to be a drummer? I mean, your father was in Led Zeppelin. His name was John. Your name's Jason. You both have the J's. It seems like you were just born into it. Well, I kind of was born into that part, but at a very young age, um, at about nine, uh, nine, ten years old, I got my first ever dirt bike. And and by the time I was 11, uh, uh, riding 80cc bikes, I was number two in the in United Kingdom, in Great Britain. But, uh, yeah, I, I still love my dirt bikes now. And uh, so that was almost my... Uh, my thing also and then uh, it was then i suddenly decided at 16 that i was gonna play drums and carry on the tradition how old were you when you you first started playing drums um from looking back on the videos or videos uh, old movies that didn't even have sound uh around five five years old you started playing drums i mean what was it like you know being the son of john bonham i mean did you see jimmy page and say did you call him uncle jimmy what was it like well we we lived in the in the closer to robert so uh i was more familiar with and always have been um very very close to but dad had you know a lot of other friends from the uh, you know the, the local area from the you know ozzy osbourne always used to be uh he was kind of over the house a lot, and they were partying. And, uh, but, you know, yeah, sometimes in McCartney, depending who was in town, Dad was very proud uh, of me as a drummer, and uh, he'd wake me up in the middle of the night and go, I want you to come and play the drums for my friends, you know. <laughs> so I'd, I'd come down, and, uh, and he'd put on the jukebox, and, uh, and I, I would play to the songs in front of, sometimes it'd be Jeff Beck, Paul McCartney, uh, Paul Rogers, and later, it was the weirdest thing, was I ended up working years and years later with Paul Rogers, and he said, I knew from that moment I saw you when you were about eight that you one day you'd play drums with me. I love that. Eight years old, your dad wakes you up at midnight. Come and play for Paul McCartney, please. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, when they used to talk at, the, at that type of night, it sounded like another language. Um, because the drink was flowing, so it was a little bit more like Arthur asking you, could you come and play the drums for my friends? <laughs> <laughs> Jason, serious question. What do you think about Led Zeppelin being sued by Spirit? Stairway to Heaven sounding very much like Spirit song Taurus? I haven't really been following it. It's a shame that after all these years, it's suddenly... You know, it has to be uh, right. done this way. We're talking with Jason Bonham. He's going to be at the Arcata Theater on May 28th. For tickets, go to oshows.com. The O2 Arena back in 2007. Take me through that. How nervous were you before the show? I feel very special, that whole moment. The show was just one part of it. For me, the six weeks building up to that was a very special moment for me just to be with all of them. I just was focused on them, you know, uh, to get a smile or a, a, a wink or, a, you know, one of those kind of acknowledgements of you did good, you know, mm-hmm. was like the closest to get it from your dad. Um, it was one of those shows, but, you know, we just gave it all. I, I remember by the, that, the third song in, I knew, I knew once we got to the, you know, the, the three in the row, once we did the three in the row, you know, Good Times, Ramble On, um, Black Dog, then for me, it just went, you know, we just got better and better and better and better. It was, we felt comfortable. You know, it was great. There was one billion people on the waiting list to get into that show. I was one of those people, and I thought, okay, they're going to do this show, and then they're going on tour. We finally get to see Led Zeppelin, but no. What happened to Robert Plant? Um, well, there's a person, there's a lot of personal stuff. You know, Robert and I 
spoke about afterwards and things. And of course, you know, I, I was like, oh my God, this would be so good. But you know what? I'm glad for the personal reasons, which I won't ever share. It's between me and, and Robert, and I understood what he said. It was amazing, you know, and that was from night one. So you imagine if they'd have done, you know, a tour. Um, but it was just for me, if that is it, if that's the way it's going to end, I think what a fantastic way to just to, to say goodbye, you know, um, for, for their dear friend, Armin Jurgen. So that was it. No more. We're not going to see you guys together ever again. <laughs> Oh, I, well, I, I hope to see them at my birthday party in July. Um, I'm in 100%. Uh, I where do I go? Tell me where to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they played at my wedding. I, I got them to play at the wedding. Um, it's funny, I, I made this comment last year, and somebody said, do you ever think you'll play with them again? And I went, yes. And he went, really? So all of a sudden, the Internet blew up. Of course. And, and they didn't understand what I, my mentality was. Well, it's my birthday party next year, and if they're around, then of course I hope to play them with them again. I want people to just take this in for a second that are listening right now. Your wedding band was Led Zeppelin when you got married. Yeah, well, we had an opening act, which was my local, which was my local friends called Billy Bowell and the Movement. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. And then Led Zeppelin topped off the night. Jason, I love talking oh, yeah. to you, man. I wish you the best. You're playing the Arcata Theater in St. Charles on May 28th. For tickets, go to oshows.com. Jason, I love that you shared these stories with us, and we wish you continued success. Jason Bonham. Thank you, Jason. Take care. It's 97.1 FM, The Morning Drive.